The amendments, according to the Ministry of Trade officials, will improve the business environment through offering clarity on the licensing structures. In the past, the other license was only referring to goods. You're selling commodities and all that. But we're not looking at services. That's why you found that someone who was offering services had to pay multiple, had to, had to acquire more licenses. He would acquire the one for trading in, in that particular service if you are a doctor, but then you would also acquire one as operating as a doctor. Or if it's an insurance company, operating as an insurance company, then you are paying for the service also of the service you're offering. So you find that one was paying how to get acquire several licenses or two, more than one. Whereas now it will be one, that is why we have brought it as a provision in that particular law. Also key is the mandatory provision of returns by every licensing authority. This ministry officials say will help government to support small and medium-sized business establishments, which today form an important part of the economy. Actually, we're having uh, what uh, is an SME department in the, in the ministry. So we are trying to promote the artisans, we are trying to promote small-scale uh, enterprises, we would like to know, for instance, every year, how many are coming? How many, are we growing? Are we reducing? That is the purpose. That's the purpose. So that information, KCCA, should be able to transmit it. Over time, traders have raised complaints of our unfair licensing structures based on what many termed as an outdated law established in 1969. The amendments are expected to open up a new chapter for the business community.